Well, hello and uh, good evening to everyone. This is yet another edition, episode 3 of our ongoing series of Go Figure with an action figure. Um, I'm your host, Steven, and I do apologize for the mess that you might see in the background. We just recently moved, me and my family, but please bear with me. Uh, videos will look a lot nicer in the future, I promise you that. Anyway, on with the business in hand here. Today I would like to talk to you about, about this very awesome uh, array of Hulks that are from Marvel Select, a small time company that's dealing with only certain characters in Marvel, but they have been making them for so many years now. My passion personally when it comes to Marvel Select would be these heavy set guys, not just Hulk specifically, but any bulky guys from Marvel and of course any versions of Thor that I can come across and there were plenty but we'll discuss that another time so what I would like to start with is to just say a couple of words about these Hulks this is my latest ac acquisition and this Hulk is supposed to be the first appearance Hulk of, based on uh, if my memory serves me well 1964 first appearance of Hulk in the comics now of course I am very impressed with it he's quite bulky I'll tell you that much very heavy as most of these are and this is him from the back one small gripe with this figure is the fact that his fists that his hands are not in a fist form which I personally don't like because why do you have to have a giant hulk without fists it feels like what is he gonna do to you just slap you in the face and that's pretty much it but nonetheless I still like him I can't resist it so I just had to get him now here is the size comparison to the Hulk everybody knows out there in the community a Marvel Select uh, I would call him a savage Hulk for that matter uh, everybody used to complain about his facial expression but you know what I honestly don't care because to my amazement he has the fists to knock your brains out and he's quite massive, not as heavy I would say as this Hulk, but nonetheless, so this is the size comparison between them. This one was released a few years back, this one was released 2014. And then let's add one of the first Marvel Select attempts at Hulk. And this is the ultimate version of Hulk uh, presented in grey color. And he was a very nice cop and still is. Uh, with quite a lot of articulation to him. The only problem with this one is that he's light feathered, pretty much no weight to him at all. He's very hollow, as you can probably hear that sound, very hollow. Nonetheless, uh, let's put this guy on the side and move on with the next one. This was supposed to be a big bad toy store, if you guys are familiar with it. It's an online store for collectors in the States. This is supposed to be specifically their exclusive. And this is supposed to be the representation of the Red Hulk, the very mysterious character that showed up in the uh, recent comics about the Hulk, and his identity was revealed much, much later on to be uh, General Ross, who's been chasing Hulk for a very long time, and then he absorbed the same powers as Hulk and decided to beat the crap to a pulp, Hulk to a pulp. So, uh, he's the exact same sculpt as the Hulk himself, the heads are different, and the color schemes. But nonetheless, both figures look amazingly nice, and I prefer this one any day over the same version that was made in the Marvel Legends by Hasbro, because this one is much bigger and much bulkier. And then, let's put these aside, the last two Hulks I intend to show you here, would be these two guys. The one on the left is your typical Hulk, but released in a Disney store as an exclusive for the Disney stores only. And he's not that bad. He's a little bit leaner in appearance, as you can tell, and the muscles and all that. And then his counterpart, this one was called, called, called Barbarian Hulk. And this one was not any exclusive, but you can tell they share the exact same sculpt with only some modifications that this one has a long hair has a necklace made of bones and some kind of a uh, almost he-man style furry pants to make him look barbaric but he didn't come with any swords or anything like that 
I personally prefer this one only because of the barbarian look but I don't know nothing about his origin because this particular Hulk showed up in the latest comics I did not follow that particular story so I'm not familiar with the details but I like the representation of him and he has beard and mustache which makes him look awesome there is uh, at least one more Hulk out there from Marvel Select and that would be uh, the one based on the Avengers movie I decided to pass on that one because he just didn't look like a very good figure to me and I honestly couldn't bear myself to just get it even though I like uh, Marvel Select versions so far but that's the only one I did pass on at this time but I'm looking forward to any other Hulks that they may come up with I would love to see uh, Joe fix it representation of Hulk or the smart Hulk or even Maestro Hulk but only time will tell if they will make one of these in the future this part portion concludes our discussion on Marvel Select and uh, I mean the Marvel Select Hulk figures I will extend now into an additional Marvel Select figures that are also bulky in size but it's not Hulk this time we're gonna talk about the guys who are just as bulky and mean looking but they're either friends or enemies of Hulk so first one in on our list is Ben Grimm or as he's called the Thing from the Fantastic Four this guy is very heavy you throw it at somebody they're not gonna get up you can be sure of that but of course that's not why we collect them <laughs> but anyway this figure is totally awesome he uh, comes with humongous fists on both sides of the hands the head is a little bit too small to my liking but nonetheless I, there is still plenty of articulation not as much as Marvel Legends but good enough and to see a size comparison with one of the Hulk so that you know what I'm talking about you can tell that Ben Grimm is smaller and then the Hulk is significantly taller there is a difference in size between these guys but nonetheless if so I'm not mistaken even in the comics Hulk usually is always supposed to be taller than the thing so now on to the next one uh, Hulk's most famous enemy abomination that's a mouthful nonetheless uh, this guy is extremely heavy like really heavy duty plastic excuse me and he doesn't have any fists but he has one thing better he has clawed hands can rip your face to shreds with these and very very thick muscular body really thick there's a great deal of detail as you can tell very rough exterior from the front and the back and all over the place he has very nasty looking toenails on the bottom but very nicely done sculpt I will say of all the abominations I've ever seen made this one is just a work of art I will say and he looks menacing enough to beat up our Hulk to a bloody mess and let's compare him to our regular Hulk so that you can tell that they're roughly the same size uh, but maybe Hulk being just slightly taller because he's more erect while Abomination is actually a bit hunched up but nonetheless beautiful figure it can be uh, going well if you really want a huge Abomination it can go well with your Marvel Legends display just as easily so I highly recommend him and uh, after this one another very well done and amazing figure this time it's the Juggernaut or as he is known uh, in relation to Professor X whom he's been trying to destroy for so long and also a brother of, a member of the Brotherhood at one point or another uh, this is the version that, that does not have a removable helmet and again it's from Marvel Select he's quite heavy of course it's a beautiful sculpt yet again they hit this one out of the ballpark just like they did with the Abomination absolutely amazing figure humongous fists that he can crush you to pieces with it and you can tell that he has a very nasty expression under that helmet I'll just 
put it a bit closer for people to see and great deal of detail biceps very big and extremely muscular body all over and again comparison sake let's take one of the hawks next to him so he's definitely taller than Juggernaut but Juggernaut is beefed up enough to put up a fight worthy of a worthy of Hulk so and to make it even more interesting let's put Hulk ab Hulk and Juggernaut and Abomination side by side so that you guys can see the difference Shorty is the Juggernaut here so the other two guys are told but nonetheless they still look amazing Juggernaut is a great figure, surpasses the one from Marvel Legends back in the Toy Biz days by a long mile. And there is another version of him that's available, uh, or at least used to be available, without the helmet, where you can see the human face. Next on the menu is not the enemy of Hulk, but I would like to use him nonetheless, is the Rhino. He's more specifically the enemy of Spider-Man. Very big figure, not as bulky I would say as the rest of them, but I would call him middleweight among these guys. And he's still large nonetheless. Uh, kind of a little bit between heavy and light in between, but nonetheless very well done. He comes with molded fists, which I just love when they have fists. When you give them flat hands that's just insulting and he has again the normal decent articulation even in the waist compared to some of the other fellows this one actually has uh, articulation in the waistline and he has the rest of it is a typical articulation that we see in the latest Marvel Solid figures nonetheless he's very well done he can put up quite a fight with your Marvel Select Spider-Man or your Marvel Legends Spider-Man whichever you prefer and let's again compare him to a Hulk. You will see the significant size difference of the Hulk is quite a bit big, bigger and bulkier. But nonetheless, he would go very well with your Spider-Man display. If you don't have any of the versions made by Hasbro or Toy Biz, then this is the one I would definitely recommend for you guys to take into consideration. And the last one of the bulky guys from Marvel Select that I will show you today is Thanos. Known to every one of you out there because of the Guardians of the Galaxy and of that famous last scene in the Avengers movie. So this is Thanos. He's also coming sometime next year as a builder figure in the Marvel Legends Infinity series. But honestly, I'm not so sure I'm gonna chase that Thanos. I'm very happy with this one. He did came with a figure of Lady Death, to whom he's always trying to impress by destroying all sorts of civilizations. He came with an extra hand that was more flat, but I prefer to pose him again with these fists. And he goes well with either Marvel Legends or Marvel Select, and he's just an amazing figure. And the day I got him, I was very, very impressed with him. The pictures in back in the day did not do him justice. You can see him from the back. Beautiful color scheme. Uh, very accurate according to comics. I will say that much. And yes, the other hand that was supposed to be here is the one that would contain uh, his Infinity Gauntlet meaning the one that's the most powerful one that he wears to destroy things with. So, one last comparison between him and Hulk, and again there will be a significant difference in size. Thanos is rather medium size, but Hulk is, as we all know, always bigger. But nonetheless, I would very much recommend this particular Thanos for any of your Avenger Marvel Legends displays, because he would fit very nicely with them. And with Thanos, I would like to conclude this story by just saying that I would highly recommend this toy line. They have a variety of Marvel characters, good guys and bad guys, and different interpretations of some of them. 
I would uh, advise you guys to give them a chance and take a look if you can catch up with some of the older releases and keep following our keep following my further updates. Thank you so much and see you again.